face is elevated. It's, it's separated from the deeper tissues. They peel this, all your skin off. They take, un, undrape it over your ears. And then after the bleeding is stopped, the skin is pulled back and up. Little teeny stitches in the eyes. And the excess skin is removed and stitches are placed. It was better beyond my wildest dreams because the doctor gave me a bonus. He bobbed my nose. What made you decide to have yourself done over? Well, I got sick and tired of having the dog drag me out in the yard and bury me. <laughs> See, in real life, I'm uh, me. I'm another person. I I'm not that. that. That thing on stage is phony. And the, the Phyllis Diller that you did all of this for, the cosmetic surgery. Yes. That's, that's the one you, you're looking at. That's not the one on stage. No, no. It, and there were people who told me that it would ruin my career. And I, I went fearlessly into the surgery, knowing that it doesn't matter how I look. See, when I come on stage, I'm a maniac. You can be a pretty maniac. I have so many liver spots, I ought to come with a side of onions. <laughs> By the time she did this show in 1985, if you added up her mileage to and from cosmetic surgeons, it could take you to the moon and back. She had a tummy tuck, a mini facelift. Her teeth were straightened and bonded. And although she made jokes about being flat-chested... I did that exercise for years where you press your hands together to make your bust larger. My hands got bigger. <laughs> she also had a breast reduction. A controversial doctor later accused of overselling cosmetic surgery, Michael Elam, also worked on her. We did her forehead, which lifted her brows. And that was a new operation that really wasn't in vogue at the time she had her original operation. She also had implants placed in her cheek. They have three sizes, small, medium, and large. I have medium. <laughs> her final procedure, six years ago, involved using body fat to smooth wrinkles. It was performed by Dr. Stephen Hoffman. She was concerned about some of the facial wrinkling that she had, mostly uh, the lines around her mouth. Well, God knows I've smiled all my life, and therefore I have a worse tendency to have vertical wrinkles. We had done procedures on her facial area, including that of, uh, of taking fat from the abdominal area, her own fat, and injecting it into the lines around her mouth. But out of all those experiences, the one she and her friends and family recall most vividly was a chemical peel a process where the face is coated with acid to burn off the older layers of skin. We paint the face with an acid compound, and then we apply tape to the face. The reason why we apply the tape is to increase the depth of penetration of the burn, because we want to get it deep enough. And boy, it, it burns, and it's overnight. This is on you, okay? The next day, the doctor comes and he fiddles around a little bit down here, a little fiddles a bit, and then he goes, what? And guess what? That is your... Four seconds of hell. <laughs> we tell the people who are going to pick up the, the person who is going to have the peel that it's going to look like they stuck their head in an oven. Oh, it makes me sick. I don't handle any of that well. And, and I came and visited her here. And, oh, she walked into the room and I just <laughs> had to turn around. I, it just pained me so to look at her. And she, oh, it's no big deal. Oh, mother. Very lightly. I mean, mother could almost be my sister the way She's she She's getting younger. We're getting older. <laughs> and you know, as you get older, you get dry and brittle. When you put your moisturizer cream on, your skin shouldn't go... <laughs> we know all the plastic surgery didn't hurt her comedy career, but did it make her a better person? Well, she says, and she took us on a tour of a closet full of hats and fashionable outfits to prove it, she says what it did was make her take better care of her appearance. I just paid a lot of attention to it, taking care with my makeup. I'd slap it on the, you know, and slough slough out with old shoes. And I started having everything just perfect. Oh my dear! God. At the same time, she has refused to let vanity get in the way of the old Here, Phyllis. You hold this one. Got it. Oh, this now is I'm going to go home. My wife's going to think I've been out with yes. six or seven. You'll women. have. That's <laughs> right. You'll have every color hair. Like the guy that came home one night and she said, uh, ah, she got it out with a blonde, and the next night he had a redhead. One night he came home, no hair. She said, ah, a bald woman. <laughs> Doctors say that as long as she remains in good health, she could, if she wants, yeah. go back for more surgery. But is it possible there's something that hasn't been done? Said, 
Well, I, I got this one thing coming here. If it gets any deeper and I start looking like Charlie McCarthy and you expect the whole thing to come down together, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drift a while. Ah! Uh, 